Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. So in the past, we have dedicated two videos to the topic PhD from the Indian Institute of Management or IIM. The first video spoke about the full-time PhD program from this prestigious institute and was titled Nine Facts About PhD from IIM. The second video, which was released just a few months back, was dedicated to the part-time PhD program of IIM and was titled as Part-time PhD for Working Professionals by IIM Nine Facts. However, there were many students who wanted to know exactly how do these two programs vary from each other. Are there any similarities also or are these two completely different? This is exactly what we are going to address in today's video. This video has been divided into two parts. In the first part, we are going to discuss five similarity between these two programs. And in the next part, we are going to discuss six major differences between part-time and full-time PhD of IIM. So let us start with similarity number one, which relates to the qualification required to pursue a part-time or a full-time PhD from IIM. So whether you want to pursue either of these two programs, you need the same qualification, which is either you can be a master's master holder, you can have a master's degree with at least 60% marks, or you can have a four year graduation degree with at least 6.5 CGPA. Yes, a 5% relaxation is given to certain categories of students as per the UGC norm. The second similarity between part-time and full-time PhD program relates to the fact that students from all streams can apply to both these programs. Mostly we assume that since this is an IIM, it's a management institute, you need to have a management degree to apply to an IIM. But this is not true. Students from all streams, an architect, a doctor, a lawyer, a CA, a designer, a chef, anybody can apply to the PhD program of this prestigious institute, both in full-time and in part-time mode. The third similarity relates to the duration of the program. So there are many institutes who insist that since you are doing a part-time PhD, you would be required to stay longer in the institute or, you know, pursue the PhD for a longer period of time. But IIM does not say anything like this. Whether you're pursuing a part-time or a full-time PhD program, the duration remains the same. And all IIMs encourage their students to complete their PhD program in, say, four to five years of time. From here, we move on to the fourth similarity, which relates to the admission cycle. So unlike all the other institutes in India, IIM opens its admission only once a year. Usually the admission starts in the month of September and goes on till the month of April. The dates vary a lot from IIM to IIM and also sometimes the same IIM who is offering a full-time program and a part-time program might offer these two programs at separate dates. You know, they might open the admission at separate times. In case you do want to know when exactly is which IIM is opening their admission, then you can follow us on our Instagram page and on our Facebook page where we give you regular updates of the opening of the admission of various IIMs, both in part-time and in full-time. So the crux of this point was that the IIMs, both for part-time and for full-time, opens their admission only once a year. From here, we move on to the last similarity, which relates to the PhD admission process. So the process of taking admission in the IIM part-time or full-time PhD program remains the same. You will have to fill up the online application form whenever the applications open and you will have to fill up these application forms separately for each IIM. So if you are planning to apply to all the 20 IIMs, then you will have to fill it up for all the 20 of them individually. Then all IIMs would require you to submit either an SOP or a research proposal. You would have to submit these two documents along with the application. 
If you are shortlisted, then you will have to appear for a viva. There is no relaxation given to any student when it comes to SOP or research proposal submission or viva sum, or appearing in the viva, irrespective of the number of years of experience you have or even if you qualified any national level examination. So these are all the similarities between the part-time and the full-time PhD program of IIM. From here, we move on to the differences in these two programs. So the first difference relates to working versus non-working. A full-time PhD scholar, as the name suggests, is engaged on a full-time basis with the, their respective institution. They have to go to the institution on a daily basis and most of the time they have to stay within the campus. Therefore, a full-time scholar cannot and is not allowed to take up any additional employment or even a course along with their PhD. When it comes to a part-time scholar, these students can actually only pursue a part-time PhD when they are already working somewhere. Therefore, to be a part-time scholar, it is mandatory for you to be engaged in a full-time employment. You can be engaged with a private organization or a government organization or an MNC. You could be self-employed or you could be running your own business. As long as you are a working professional, you can apply for a part-time PhD. But a full-time scholar cannot be a working professional while they are pursuing their full-time PhD. So this is the first major difference between part-time and full-time PhD program. The second difference relates to all and some IIM. So full-time PhD program is a program which is offered by all the 20 IIMs. Whereas a part-time PhD program is yet offered only by 50 to 60 percent of the IIMs. Yes, every year we see a new IIM offering a part-time PhD and we are very sure the kind of demand now the working professionals have to pursue a part-time PhD. Very soon we'll see majority IIMs offering both part-time and full-time PhD program. However, for now it is all and some. The third difference relates to experience and non-experience. So to pursue a full-time PhD program, you do not need any kind of experience. In fact, even if you're still pursuing your qualifying degree, you can apply to the full-time PhD program of IIM. However, to apply to the part-time PhD program, majority IIMs insist that the part-time PhD students have some years of experience before they apply to the part-time PhD program of IIM. The next difference relates to fees and no fees. So if you want to pursue a full-time PhD from IIM, you do not have to pay any kind of fees. Yes, you heard it right. There is no fee when you are pursuing a full-time PhD program from IIM. However, if you are pursuing a part-time PhD program from this institute, you will have to pay an annual or a semester fee till the time your PhD thesis is submitted. The next difference relates to stipends. So it is only the full-time PhD program students who get a monthly stipend. In fact, all the students who are pursuing a full-time PhD from IIMs will definitely be getting a stipend. However, when it comes to part-time PhD holders, there is no provision of any stipend. Obviously, part-time students are already being paid by the employers and therefore there is no stipend which is paid to part-time students, but it is definitely paid to full-time students. Before we move to the last difference between these two programs, let me request each one of you watching this video to please subscribe to our channel like our videos and share them too. Also in the comment section, tell us what are the other content related to PhD that you would like us to create videos about. Okay, so the last difference relates to the eligibility examination. 
So if you want to pursue a full-time PhD from IIMs, then majority IIMs would prefer you to have qualified before you apply to the program some kind of eligibility examination. However, if you want to pursue a part-time PhD, then based on your experience, there would be many IIMs who would exempt you from having any kind of eligibility examination. So these are all the similarities and differences between a part-time and a full-time PhD program. If you still have any questions related to either of these two programs, you know you can reach out to us at the given number. Also, in case you are looking for a PhD mentor, advisor and trainer, somebody who can guide you about which are the best institutes for you to apply to, which are the research areas where you can apply or how to choose a research topic. If you want guidance about how to write a technically correct research proposal or a professional statement of purpose. In short, if you want someone to guide you completely in your research admission journey, then you can also reach out to me on the same number. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you still have any questions related to the part-time or the full-time PhD program of IIM or any other questions related to PhD, then you can put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video and may you have a great week ahead. Thank you.